Turning now to TV news from a new series to big moments on some of our favorite shows. TV Guide Magazine senior critic Matt Rausch has a look at what's worth watching. One of the most anticipated new series of the midseason is Rise, starting on Tuesday night on NBC following the season finale of This Is Us. We were in small town Pennsylvania, a depressed steel town, and yet there's sort of music in the air because this English teacher has decided to revive the theater program at this high school, and he's going to start with a very controversial production of Spring Awakening. I've been a teacher here 17 years. I feel like this is my chance to do something. Let's shake things up. He also goes against the grain by casting the football star as the lead, and he puts him opposite a young girl from the other side of the tracks. So there's a little bit of a Romeo and Juliet story going on here, and can this musical theater uh, experiment that he's doing open their eyes up to the dreams of who they can be? They sound core. <laughs> We have a very welcome guest coming back to Saturday Night Live, Bill Hader, who won several Emmy nominations during the run of the show. He's coming back to host for the second time. One of the reasons he's coming back to Saturday Night Live is because he has another great character to bring to TV in a new HBO series called Barry that is coming on at the end of the month. It'll be a very happy homecoming, and he is just a, one of the best people to come out of that show in a long time. Indulge me. Also this weekend, we have a very special episode of a very long-running uh, animated comedy, Fox's Family. Guy. For the first time ever in its long run, it is doing a commercial free episode built around Stewie, that crazy twisted baby. And he goes to a child psychologist in this episode, voiced by Sir Ian McKellen. Send in Stewie. Oh, I can go in now? All kinds of family secrets get exposed. This would be a really special episode. This is Matt Rausch, a senior TV critic for TV Guide magazine. For more news, reviews, and commentary about TV, pick up a copy of TV Guide today.